Hi there, this is Jamie from Painted Lady Tarot, and today we're going to do a walkthrough of Tilly Walden's The Cosmic Slumber Tarot. This deck came out in November of 2020, so it's a new deck, and it was published by Liminal. I am not familiar with this company. Anyway, uh, as soon as I actually had seen the artwork for this deck, I knew I had to have it. It was different. It's kind of got this comic uh, look to it. It's got a really pretty color palette as well. So I was immediately intrigued and knew that I had to get a copy. These copies are available on Amazon, anywhere from the $30 to $35 range. So let's get started. So the box comes in a really nice, a very hard box, which I love, great for storage. It opens strange though. It's actually got a bottom slat. So you pull out the inside box like this. Close this back up. And then we've got another box inside. Inside the box. As you can see the cardboard's still there. So we we'll just, uh, oops, missed one. And here we have the book as well. So we'll start off with the little white book, which is actually a little book, a little hardcover book. Inside, a little intro. Ooh, so not a whole lot of information for these cards. Very minimal. Yeah. You're definitely not learning how to read tarot from this book, uh, that is for sure. We've got a little bit more info for the Major Arcana, but not a whole lot. Like a couple tiny little paragraphs. So, not super exciting. Oh, wait, hang on. Just noticed something here. Okay, published by Sterling Ethos. Forget what I said before. What do I know? All right, the cards. So, they're very glossy. Uh, Size-wise, they're pretty standard tarot deck size. These are the backs, uh, so they are reversible. If you're one of those people that reads reversals, you're good to go with this. And let's get started. So we have our full card. The matches. High Priestess, the Empress, ooh, the Emperor, love this card, fantastic, that skull is mint, Hierophant, I get those two guys too. So yeah, this is definitely a Rider weight based deck. The lovers. It's an interesting interpretation. Chariot. Strength. She's got her whole hand in his mouth. It's got that real tear versus Fenrir kind of appeal to it. The Hermit, love, love, love. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged One. A super cute death card. Death cards always look less, you know, frightening when when they're in pink, I'm riding on a pink pony. I like it. Temperance. Oh, the devil. She's got a pentagram on her face. Cool. I can uh, I can dig that, sure. Tower. The star. The moon, the sun, which 
judgment. And the universe. Well, that's it for our major arcana. And we're starting the miners off with the wands or the torches as they're calling them in this deck. A nice deck if you're looking to have something that's not going to intimidate people. Safe to say this deck won't intimidate anyone. It has that cool, subliminal, almost dreamy kind of thing going for it. And it's not completely white, which is also pretty cool to see. And I mean, a cat. Who doesn't like to see cats? I like this one. <laughs> More cats. Apparently the torches are all about cats. Again, more cats. And the cups. This is the best Four of Cups card ever. She's like, hmm. It looks like the morning after. You've had all your cups, you wake up on a beach somewhere. Yeah, who's not been there before at least once? No judgment. Dude, look at this Ten of Cups. Look at the two of them on their little boat together. Absolutely lovely. This is a lovely deck. And now we move on to swords. Ah, it's an interesting three of swords. There is no heart in sight. I mean, pierced, I want to say pierced through the heart, but I mean, anatomically probably not, but you know, you know where they're going with it. They still get their point across. It's interesting to see um, a Rider weight style deck that is not using that really traditional image of the heart with the three swords stuck in it. So this is, uh, yeah, that's different. Huh, look at this Ten of Swords. Usually a super upsetting, super dead kind of card. And in this one, you've got, it looks like she's sleeping peacefully with her Ten of Swords stuck through her body. But I guess, and this is supposed to be like, like that dream sequence, right? So yes, yes, I'm lying dead in my bed, but my soul is free. Very, very interesting concept for this card. Oh, and we're going with princesses. I can uh, I can dig that too. That's cool. The prince. My queen of swords, who's actually blood splattered. Wow. And that's it for the swords. And last but last, we pull on. Here we go. We're into the pentacles now. Three of Pentacles are like, look, our barn is on fire in the distance. Huh.
Okay. Oh, bonus cards. I like me the bonus cards. So this one has given us the morning. You can see, uh, so again, going, thinking on that, uh, the whole sleeping, dreamy aspect of this deck. We've got this chick clearly sleeping and in dreams. Yeah, here's her. Interesting. Oh, and then we have the night when she's awake and a dream. Anyway, so that's cool. So you get two extra cards with this deck that uh, you can use or not use, depending on the kind of reader you are. Sometimes I like to throw them in. Sometimes I just keep them snuggled in the back of the deck for, you know, for amusement um, and for the lovely art pieces that they are. I hope you've liked this walkthrough. If you have, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time. Have a great day.